Hey everyone, uh, if you're just waking up with me this morning, then I have an awesome sunrise Pilates workout for you. So if you, like me, wake up feeling stiff and tight um, from being curled in a little ball all night, then this is gonna help open you up um, and just give you some more energy and get you ready for your day. So let's go ahead and get started with some standing work here first. So we're gonna go ahead and come into uh, a nice easy posture with our feet. So just being grounded on all four corners of the feet. So, right, if you're just waking up out of bed, you're, you're feeling the floor, feeling that surface and just grounding and rooting down here. So keeping those legs in parallel, shoulders are drawing down as your crown of your head stays lifted. We're just gonna take a few deep breaths. So on your inhale, go ahead and bend those knees a little bit as you sweep those arms out to the sides. And then you lift the arms, straighten the leg and then lower the arms back down by your sides. We'll do that again. Inhale, arms lift. Good, exhale, arms lower. One more like that. Inhale, deep breath in. And bring those arms all the way back down. All right, now we're gonna do a little side stretch. So bring those arms up to the ceiling. Good, grab your left hand with your right wrist as you reach over, sorry, grab your left wrist with your right hand as you reach over to the side. And go ahead and start to open that side up just a little bit more stretching and lengthening. Good, and then come all the way up through center. Grab your other wrist as you reach up overhead. Good, try not to round your body forward. Try to keep opening that chest a little bit more towards the front. Good, one more each side. Grab that wrist, reach it over. Keep that opposite foot reaching into the floor. Good, last one, lifting up, reach, lengthen. Good, and then bring your arms all the way back down. All right, shake out those legs here just a little bit. We're gonna get a nice, uh, easy twist here. So. Maybe bring your legs just a little bit wider, slightly bend your knees, and then just start to twist those arms here side to side. Good, just letting that head rotate with the body. Just let everything go, right? So not holding any tension. Trying to get that body nice and loose and moving. Bring a little bit of blood flow to the arms, to the legs. Do one more each side. And then go ahead and let the arms come down by your sides. All right, we're gonna do a little uh, flexion extension. So a little bit more moving of the spine to wake that up. So I want you to bring your hands onto your knees. So you bend your knees a little bit here. So you're gonna start to draw your shoulders down as you lift your heart and chest on your inhale. And then exhale, you're gonna Scoop the belly, straighten the legs, round through your spine. And then inhale, bend those knees a little bit, heart comes forward, head lifts. Good, and exhale to round. Could it be nice if you had a nice that sunny window you were doing this in front of to let that sun shine down? Maybe you can do it outside if you have a nice little spot to do it there. Always nice, nice to let that natural light in. Start waking up that body a little bit more. Good, one more inhale. And exhale. All right, come all the way back up to standing. All right, come to the back edge of your mat here. And we're gonna do a few roll downs. So back into that nice um, parallel position with the legs. Spine tall as we start here, take your inhale. Exhale, chin to chest, and then let the spine roll down. One vertebra coming off at a time, letting the head and the arms be heavy, upper body be heavy. Good, keep the legs straight. So wherever your hands go, if they don't reach the floor, that's okay. Take an inhale there. Exhale, reverse that. As you start to come up, your head is gonna be the last thing to lift, right? So lower back, stacks on top of the pelvis and then mid back, upper back and lift. And then we reverse that again, chin to chest, roll it down. 
Could maybe shake the upper body just a little bit to release any tension. And then stack it back up. Coming all the way back up, head lifts. And last one, chin to chest, roll it down. Good, this time I do want your hands to come to the floor. If they can, we're gonna do a little knee bend. So I want you to bend your right knee, keeping your left leg straight. You can let that left hip kind of pop out to the side, and then you're gonna switch sides. You're just gonna alternate sides here. You should feel this in your hamstrings, in your side of your hips, maybe in your glutes a little bit. Okay, just a nice, easy bend. One and then the other. Good. All right, so now bend your right knee, keep it bent, place your right hand to the mat, and then open that left arm towards the ceiling. A nice twist here. Good, now bring that left hand down, straighten both legs, then bend your left leg open to the right. Good, keep alternating, getting that beautiful twist. Good. That's it. Good, last set. Twist it open. Good, bring it down. And last one. Good, this time bring both hands to the mat. Bend your knees if you need to, and then you're gonna walk yourself out to a downward dog. So go ahead and walk those hands forward. Good, start to Drop your heels to the mat, sink your chest towards your thighs. Walk your dog here, bending one knee and then the other. That's it. Deep breaths. Good, and then both heels drop down. Hold that downward dog. Take one more inhale. And exhale, this time lower the knees down, widen the knees and sink back into a child's pose. Arms forward, forehead to the mat. And take one big deep breath here in child's pose. And then exhale, release it. All right, coming into all fours. I want you to roll a few, a few cat, roll through a few cat cows first. So I want you to inhale as you come through center, lift the heart and chest. Exhale as you round your spine. And then inhale to lengthen. Exhale, round. Last one, inhale. And exhale. All right, staying here on all fours, we're gonna do what's called a tail wag or a puppy tail wag. And what that means is you're gonna, you're gonna keep your knees on the ground, but lift your left, lower part of your left leg off the mat so that you're, this is your little puppy tail here. All right, so keeping that lifted, you're gonna to start to bring that left leg out to the side as you look over that left shoulder over to your left, and then bring it across the right leg as you look right shoulder towards that right, I'm sorry, towards that left foot. And you keep going back and forth side to side, and you're getting a nice kind of side body opening. Good, starting to feel those obliques here. Good. Do one more. Okay, and then bring it back to center. Let's switch to the other side. So that right leg is gonna lift and start bringing it out to the right first as we look over that right shoulder and then across. Good, over and across. That's it. Just one more set. Good, over and across. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna do a little uh, upper dog into a child's pose. So let's start first in that upper dog position. So we're gonna get a little bit more chest and heart opening here. So go ahead, start to come forward into your hands. Shoulders are right over the wrists. Good, your thighs are lifted off the mat as you lift up. 
that upper body. Good, and then exhale, you're gonna scoop your belly back as you bring your hips back towards your feet. And then you round forward, press through your arms, lift that heart and chest. So you come up, good, exhale, pull the hips and belly back. Sink back into child's pose. Good, just a few more like that. Kind of wake up that spine and that body here a little bit more. Good, exhale, pull back. Two more. Yes, last one. Pull it all the way back into that child's pose. Awesome. All right. Go ahead and come all the way up to seated. We're going to come to a nice lunge stretch now. So we're going to start to lift up and we're going to bring this right leg forward. So back knee is on the mat, stays there. Go ahead and start to bring your hands onto that right thigh and start to lean forward here just a little bit. Now, as you're here, right, stay lifted in your quad, lifted in your core, legs are nice and active. So you feel this beautiful hip flexor stretch. Good, now keep your right hand on your thigh, bring that left arm up towards the ceiling, reach it over to the right. You'll feel more of a stretch in that hip flexor and also all up that left side there. Remember, stay active in your legs. Keep that right inner thigh drawing in towards center. One more breath. Good, come back up through center. Plant your hands down, flex through that right ankle as you pull that right hip back. That's it. Hamstring stretch, opening up the backs of those legs. Beautiful. All right. Bring that foot forward. Plant both your hands onto the mat on either side of that leg. Go ahead and tuck your left toes under. Bring that right leg back to come into plank. Good, hold it here. Good, three deep breaths. Good, exhale. Starting to fire up that core. Last two. Last one. Good, now exhale into downward dog, heels towards the floor. Beautiful. All right, then lower those knees down. We're gonna do all that on the other side. So lifting up onto the knees, left foot forward. Left knee pulling in towards that midline. Good, sinking forward a little bit deeper into that hip stretch. So I mentioned, right, a sunny window, but maybe it's not sunny where you are today. Maybe it's a little rainy. Maybe it's a little dreary out there. Maybe it was hard to get out of bed this morning, but wherever you're at, right, whatever's going on out there, this is gonna make you feel more alive, more energetic, more awake and ready for your day. All right, so start to bring that right arm up towards the ceiling. Reach it over to the side. Beautiful side body opening here. Breathe into that right rib cage. One more breath. Good, bring both hands now down to the mat as you come back to center. Flex those hips back as you bring your toes back towards your nose and bring the upper body forward. And that string stretch, that's it. Good, come back forward now. Keep the, or tuck the right toes under. Go ahead and plant your hands. Lift that back knee, bring that foot back, coming back to that plank, three more breaths here. Inhale and exhale. If this is too much for you at the beginning. Do a kneeling plank position or maybe come to your forearms. We've got one more breath, inhale and exhale. Beautiful, bring those knees all the way back down. All right, we're gonna do a um, little bit more in, getting a little bit more into our core with a knee to nose exercise. So staying in table pose here, 
We're gonna bring that right leg straight out back behind us. All right, now before we do that exercise, we're just gonna fire up that hamstring and glute a little bit with some pulses. We're gonna do long-legged pulses here, lifting. Yeah, so it's not coming up super high because we want that lift to come from our glutes, hamstrings, not from the spine. So I don't want you to be arching your back. Okay, let's do four, three, two, one. Keep reaching that leg long. Inhale here. Exhale, round, knee to nose. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Two more. Last one. Good, reach it out one last time, and then place that leg all the way down, and then we're gonna switch to the other side. All right, so this time, left leg reaches back at hip height first, little pulses. You got it. Let's do four, three, two, one. Reach it long, inhale, exhale, round. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round. Three more. Last two. Last one. Good, reach it out, hold it, and then lower it all the way back down. All right, go ahead and tuck those toes under. And we're gonna come to a little, um, little side opening at camel pose. So keeping those knees together. Arms coming down by your sides, right? So we're squeezing those inner thighs. Hips are forward. We're gonna take an inhale as we bring both arms up to the ceiling. Exhale as we draw that left hand down, right arm stays lifted as we bring that chest open towards the ceiling. And then we come back up arms lift back up come over to the other side so right hand comes to right heel lift it up good lift back up to center okay let's do one more each side good pull that belly in before you come up last one good coming all the way back up arms lift then arms come all the way by your sides. Awesome. All right, let's do a little side opening, all right? So we're gonna be on your hand and bottom knee. Now, this top leg is gonna reach out long here. So this leg to start is gonna stay on the mat and this knee will be on the mat, this bottom knee. This hand is gonna be here. Now we're gonna to start to press up into our beautiful side bend as we bring this top arm up overhead, open and stretch. And then we lower back down. Ooh, hairs in the mouth. All right, let's do that again. Inhale as we open, reach and stretch. Good, and then we lower. Just a few more like that. And lower, good. Last two. And last one, this time I want you to reach up, hold here. Lift that right leg off the floor. Good, reach and lengthen. Good, beautiful side opening. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good, then lower that foot down. Bring the hips up higher. You find a beautiful side bend. And then we lower that all the way down. Let's go ahead and come to the other side. All right, so bottom knee stays down, top leg stays lifted or straight and on the mat. All right, start to sweep this top arm open. So we bring that arm up overhead, press those hips forward, and then we lower back down. Good, bring it up, reach it open, and lower. Good, just a few more. Last two. And last one, lift, reach, hold it here. 
Good, reach that top arm and leg apart. Good, reach it away. Stretch as far as you can. And then bring that top arm, sorry, top leg down. Lift your hips higher. Beautiful side opening. And then bring that hand in. Lower yourself all the way down. All right, so let's go ahead and come down onto our backs. So roll yourself all the way down. Bring those feet in close to the body. We're gonna do a little bridging here, opening more up the front of the hips and the quads and getting a little bit more front body opening. So arms down by your side, shoulders are pressing back, legs are in parallel. Take your inhale. On your exhale, start to flatten your low back into the mat as you start to peel that spine off. So let's make this a rolling bridge. We're finding that beautiful spinal articulation. Good, inhale at the top. Exhale, bring it back down. Release that pelvis. Good, let's do that again. Roll it up. Good, lift here, inhale. Exhale, bring it down. Yes, good, a few more. Good, roll up, lift, reach, and lower. Last two. If you were to ask me what my favorite exercise is to kind of wake up and energize with, it would be bridging, so this here, as well as any sort of side opening, like a side bend or mermaid or, Anything that wakes up and opens the side body it just feels so nice. All right, hold your hips lifted here. We're gonna do flat back pulses. Good, pressing up, lift. So you're just lowering down just a few inches. Driving through your heels, you get into those glutes and hamstrings. So here we are waking up that back body again a little bit more. Good, five, four, three, two, one. And then roll it all the way back down. Beautiful. All right, we are pretty close to being done, but not before we wake up those abs a little bit more. So go ahead and bring your legs into tabletop. All right, so let's feel nice and strong in our center. All right, legs are parallel with the floor, arms are up to the ceiling. We're gonna move right into our ab curls. So inhale here, exhale, head, neck, and chest lift, arms down by your sides, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, and lift. Good, four more. Last three. And two. Last one, this time stay lifted. Hands on top of the right knee, pull that right leg in, reach the left leg long, and then we switch. Switch, so we're moving into single leg stretch. Shoulders down. If you need to bring your head down, go ahead and do that. Good, switch, reach. Let's do three. Three, two, two, one, and one. Good, lower the spine all the way down. Keep the legs in tabletop or bring the hands behind the head. So we're gonna move into our crisscross. So. Elbows stay wide, start to lift up as you twist to the left, reach your right leg long. And then come to your center over to the other side and switch, switch. Waking up those obliques a little bit more. Five more sets, five, four, three, two, and one, good, bring the feet down. All right, we're gonna do roll-ups, let's do three. I'm going to do a full roll-up, legs and arms long. If you need a little extra assistance, right, modification, bend your knees, and you can grab on behind your legs to help you come up and down, okay? So choose your position. Take your inhale as your arms reach back behind you. Exhale, arms sweep up, chin to chest, round forward. We reach over the legs and then we roll it back down. Good, bone by bone. 
Inhale, arms lift up and back. Exhale, chin to chest, scoop, round forward. And then we lower, lower, lower. We've got just one more inhale here. Exhale, lift. Good, round forward. Good, bring it all the way down to the mat. Make this one your slowest one yet. Good, with control. Woo, nice full body stretch. If your knees are bent, bring them straight along the floor and reach arms and legs apart. I want you to reach over more towards that left side of your mat as you open up that right side of your body. Maybe reach your right leg a little longer than your left. And then over to the other side. Yes. Good, one more each side. Good, last one. All right, now last stretch, one of my favorites. Lower body twist, pull that right leg in towards your chest. Keep that left leg long. Twist it across the body as you lift over that, look over that right shoulder. And just breathe. Good, one more breath. Go ahead and pull it back to center. Give that knee a little tug in and then send it away. And pull that other leg in, left knee to chest. And then we bring it across the body as we roll it over. So hopefully that was just what you needed this morning to get yourself going, get that body moving mobile, limber, and then fire up that core just a little bit. Good, get you energized for your day. Go ahead and bring those knees into the chest. Rock yourself up to seated, and then come to a comfortable, comfortable seat. So if you're looking to continue on with a little bit more um, moving this morning, I have a great standing Pilates workout. Um, this is an awesome one, not too long, but just enough to um, just continue that moving up in a standing position to get you ready for your day. I also have a total core workout, which would be great if you want a little bit more extra core work. So um, again, thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you here on the mat again.